This video is sponsored by Gawain Industries, creators of Bridge, an add-on slash plug-in combo for Blender to Unreal workflows. Hello, I've been following the development of Bridge since its release because I'm really interested in a Blender to Unreal Engine workflow that doesn't use the FBX file format. And Bridge is a add-on slash plug-in combo that provides just that. Currently it only works for static meshes, but they're currently working on converting materials from Blender to Unreal Engine and there is definitely future plans for animation, skeletal meshes, you name it. What I think is really great about this is that I can generate a level procedurally and then I can take all of those instance objects in Blender and I can very quickly and easily just export all of it into, a bridge, into their bridge file format and then import it straight into Unreal Engine and everything gets set up in the level for me. So it's really useful, something that would take me maybe two or three days to set up by hand, Bridge can do for me in less than half an hour. So I'm going to show how to install both the Blender add-on and the Unreal Engine plugin. And then I'm going to generate a dungeon with my little dungeon generation add-on that I'm working on. And then I'm gonna throw that straight at Unreal Engine with Bridge. Now Bridge is a paid add-on, so it costs a little bit to buy, but for what it's going to be able to do, in mo for most use cases, it's really worth that price tag. So you can find it here on Gumroad, and I'm going to go through the installation process in just a moment. They do have their own website for it, and everything is really well documented on GitHub. There's the whole installation and how to use guides. They're, they're very well written, they're very well presented, so you can't really go wrong with them. So we're going to need to download both the Blender add-on and whatever version of the Unreal Engine plugin that you require. They're supporting from 4.22 to 4.25. They had support for 4.25 on the day that 2.5 went live. They were ready for it. It was there. So they're definitely on the ball. So you're going to need to download those two. I've already done that. To install this in Blender, all we're going to do is preferences, install from a file, the Blender add-on zip, just make that a bit bigger, and install add-on. And then we can find it in here. Oh, not brog, bridge. There we go. And under export, bridge for meshes. That's now ready to go. And under file export, we have bridge for meshes export to their file format, which I'll do shortly, just a moment after I've installed the plugin to Unreal Engine. We're going to navigate to where we have the .zip folders downloaded, and I'm going to extract all to the to my installation location of my Unreal Engine folder in Engine Plugins, select folder and extract and ignore my materials for now I'll talk about them in a moment we're going to go file file no edit plugins and there we have bridge for meshes enable that and it's going to prompt us to restart so i'm just going to restart that project quickly and we should have the bridge plugin enabled there we go it's now enabled ready for us to use so i'm going to save all on this and come back to it in a moment because now I'm going to generate a dungeon using my dungeon generation algorithm and I'm going to want to do at least two levels so let's do two to three levels of my dungeon I'm also going to open up my system console so I can see this happening and I'm going to hit generate and this is going to go through in a moment, this takes a little while. I converted this from a plain script into an add-on, so it takes a lot. It takes quite a bit longer to process each level. It's gone from like five seconds a level to like 20, 30 seconds a level. So I'll let this build, and I'll probably fast forward through this, and then I'll get my get the entire dungeon sent straight to Unreal Engine using Bridge. Okay, there we go. That's 50 seconds it took to build my dungeon. You can zoom out, and we can see it here. This is some 8,000 objects that I'm going to be sending to Unreal Engine. They do all have 
materials on them so I can sort of see what's going on here. Green for paths, red for rooms, yellow for walls, blue for stairs, purple for doors. And I've also got a whole bunch of clutter spawning in these rooms as well. So I'm going to select everything and I'm going to deselect my base meshes down here as well, because I don't want to take those to Unreal Engine. So we don't want those. I'm only going to export these. These are all instance meshes from these starting meshes just there. So, all I need to do now is file, export, bridge for meshes, bridge. I'm going to put this actually in my bridge folder that I have. So I'm just going to put it in bridge. We have a few export options here. They all have well-written tooltips. They speak for themselves and what they do. I'm not going to optimize the exported meshes because I want to push bridge and push Blender and Unreal Engine and see what it can handle. So I'm going to leave this as it is. And I'm just going to click, let's name this um, bridge test instead of my OBS switching location for Blender. So let's do that and export meshes. And that's that. That's how quick it is to export from Blender. It does take a little bit longer to get it into Unreal Engine. But we are dealing with 8,107 instances of meshes here. That's that generated and exported. Now all these materials that I've got on, going on here for the different objects, because I have them already set up here in Unreal Engine, when I import here, it's going to automatically find these materials and assign them to the correct objects, which is really cool. So I was going to do this while recording but I'm on a laptop and recording while trying to process 8,000 objects into a scene crashes my computer so I'm going to cut here and I'll time how long it takes to import it so what I'm going to do in a second when I close this is I'm going to go I'm going to right click I'm going to import to game and I'm already in my bridge folder where I exported it. I find the .bridge file, which is just there. Bridge test .bridge. So none of these text files. These are all like recordings of the locations and transforms of stuff. I've got this bridge.test file and I'll be clicking open on that. But I'm not going to do that on here because it will crash my laptop because I don't have the memory to handle 8,000 objects being placed into a scene while recording while on my second monitor. So... I'll be back in a moment and I'll tell you how long it took. And there we go. That took about almost exactly half an hour. It took around 28 minutes to do that. That was about, it took around, probably, it probably took about a few seconds to import the meshes and then it took the rest of the time to place them into the level and for my computer to catch up. And Unreal Engine decided to aut try auto-saving in the middle of all of that too. So that won't have helped with how long it took. So I might have to disable auto-saving when I do this. But we have a dungeon, and it's all come straight into Unreal Engine. That's 8,000 and however many objects, and it's done it all for me. Half an hour is a fraction of the time it would take for me to place all of this manually. So it's definitely a great thing. As you can see, it's assigned all the materials to all my clutter, to my walls, to my floors, to everything. So. What was in Blender is now in Unreal Engine. So you can zoom out, you see this is all there, and this is all there now. I mean, obviously lighting wants to be rebuilt for this, I'm not going to do that, it would take too long. But everything is in and where it's supposed to be, just as it was in Blender. So I'm very pleased with this, we can whiz around these long hallways go underneath each other. I should mention that these materials I have in Unreal Engine are not performance friendly at all. I literally just duplicated the material a few times and changed its color and set it to two-sided. So these are really, this is not how you would do materials. I just did it for an example. So yeah, I'm really, I'm really impressed with this and I'm really pleased with this. I've been looking for a way to do this, like export entire scenes really, really smoothly and easily without having to worry about points of origin. And Bridge does that for me. So yeah, it hasn't imported 8,000 meshes, it's imported each of the meshes that are used in this in my Blender scene, and then it's instanced them across the level. 
So this has all worked as expected, which is great. Now I'd like to sort of go over like maybe the pros and cons, maybe give some feedback for the uh, bridge developers as well. So pros of this, I can build an entire scene in Blender and I can send it straight to Unreal Engine really quick, really quite quickly and easily in comparison to any other method. I don't have to worry about points of origin. It does that, that all that stuff for me. It sets up the materials, so I can set up the materials in Blender, then do the equivalent in Unreal Engine, just give them the same names and it will find the materials when I import the bridge file. And everything gets set up as it should. So these are like pros, these are really good things. Cons is how long it took. Like really, like it took a bit of patience. I was pacing around waiting for it to finish because I was timing it. And so I was sort of hanging around for about half an hour, which is still much better than the days it would take to place all of this stuff manually. But I did speak to the developers and they said they were going to look into trying to make things a bit more performance friendly so that things get imported and set up in the scene faster. But a lot of the performance side of this is on my end with my laptop. I'm not doing this on a workstation, you know, so it's expected to have some waiting times. Um, feedback for the developers. So I'd like to be able to spawn these all in as actors with static meshes. So like maybe some kind of option somewhere, maybe a custom property on the objects in Blender or something where you can say this is going to be in this actor and then it can instance actors across because if I wanted any of this to be destructible, you know, like I wouldn't want to be just spawning them in as static meshes, I'd want to be spawning them in as actors with various blueprint logic behind them. So could, that I'd really like to see something like that going on in the near future, like just so that I can, so all these things, instead of being placed as static meshes, they get placed as, as designated actors for them. So I could make a wall actor or a barrel actor and it can be opened and it's got all the inventory logic it needs, you know, that kind of thing. So like not spawning them as static meshes, but spawning them as actors as well. Like make that, that that'd be a great option to have. That'd be really useful. They told me that they are working on exporting from Unreal Engine to Blender using Bridge as well, so making it go both ways. Right now it doesn't, so that'd be a really cool thing to see. I think that should be a pretty high priority, being able to export stuff as Bridge files. So you could set up a level in Unreal Engine with a bunch of assets, then export it to Blender, edit a bunch of stuff about it, then send it straight back again. That'd be really cool. So those are things I'd like to see. I know that they plan on working on animations and skeletal meshes. I'll help them if I can, to be honest. If like All of the Blender side API for that I'm quite familiar with. So if they need a hand with that, I'll work for free on the Blender side stuff. This all looks really cool. I'm really pleased with this. From my point of view, as a solo developer, $60 for this, for what it currently does, is kind of stretching it. I'm aware that they've put a lot of time into this, and it, it really it is worth it. But for the current functionality of it, I feel that maybe the price is a little bit high. If it was already doing materials, it would be worth $60, you know? So like, just for, for just the ability to export static meshes, like export import static meshes like this, I feel that $60 is a little bit high, but as soon as they get everything else done, it's a steal. Like the moment they have animations and skeletal stuff going on here with sockets and all that kind of thing, the moment they have that going through the bridge file format, it's, it's worth more than 60. I'd happily pay like $100, $200 for a workflow for animations and skeletal meshes that does not involve FBX, I'd pay a lot of money for that. And I know a lot of other people would as well. From a studio point of view, it's well worth it though. Like if you're working in a studio, $60 is kind of nothing really. Like for a workflow this smooth, the amount of time you'll save paying people to set this stuff up, you're gonna save enough money to justify that those $60. But for a solo developer, it's a little bit of a stretch. I mean, it's kind of like at the limit of what people would pay for something like this. But it's, I'd say I'd say it's worth it. Like I wouldn't regret paying sixty dollars to be able to import my dungeon like this without having to place everything manually or set up the blueprint. I mean, I'm going to set this up in Blueprint anyway, so I can just spawn it in Unreal Engine. But the fact that this is possible is just incredible. So that's about it for this video. Um, if you're interested in my dungeon generation thing that I'm doing, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and just subscribe on YouTube and stuff. You'll see me messing around with this and doing stuff with it over the next few months while I prepare it to be released for other people to use. I'm currently working on the clutter because it's a bit 
too cluttered at the moment. I'm sort of figuring out how I'm placing everything. I've just about got shelves snapping to walls and things like that, but I'm going to be doing a lot of work on this and I'm really enjoying it. I find it a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun doing this. I can generate like a hundred levels in Blender in the space of like five or ten minutes, which is great. So that's a bit about that. You can find more, find out more about that just by following me in places. If you're interested in Bridge, then there's links in the description to everywhere you'll need to go in order to download it and install it and use it. They're really great. The developers are really active. They're really responsive and they're just nice guys. I've been talking to them for a little while. So yeah, that's this video done. I hope you have a great day and I hope you find both Bridge and this video useful.